G'day, it's Tony. It might not look like it, but I'm actually out in the Kimberley at the moment, uh, at Kildo Station, and here with Jack and, and Vicky Burden. Uh, now, when you first, how long have you been at Kildo Station? Yeah. Uh, over 10 years. Over 10 years. <laughs> and, and when you started, like it's largely a cattle property now, what was it when you, when you first came? It was abandoned property when we first came, a cattle property, and um, we found water and uh, uh, grew fruit and veg, sweet potatoes mainly, from the first market. Okay. And, and, and when did you start making the transition back to turning into a cattle crop? We always had a small amount of cattle, didn't we? But then yeah. probably 2000, 2001, and we significantly made a big change. Yes, it's a pretty small property, yeah. so it was virtually an unviable cattle property. And so we sort of we were forced to diversify and look at other alternatives, mm -hmm. uh, rather than just running um, some cattle in the middle of nowhere. So we sort of expanded and got into the irrigation stuff. Okay, now can you explain, because we're, we're here on irrigated patch here obviously, but we've got the pivot behind us, how, how, how big is it? How many pivots are about 30 hectares, so um, they're, like I say, they're basically centre pivots, there's a lot of them around Australia, it's all, um, it's all groundwater, so all of our water comes from below ground. Um, the sort of, we have, we've got about six or seven of these at the moment, and they're all growing different, different crops. Um, basically this one is a sorghum crop and um, it's been cut about uh, four weeks ago for cattle fodder and we use that for our export, live export yard facility in, in um, back at the homestead. So how many, how many of the pivots have you got? Uh, there's seven, seven, seven operating pivots, right. yeah. Um, we're sort of hoping to get a couple more in and that'll be the pivot busy for a while. Um, and yes, yeah, so like I say, some are growing roads grass and some are growing oats, winter oats. It's not really the spot to grow oats but uh, this time of year it's perfect. And how many head are you running? Um, the actual station is only small, it only runs about a thousand head of cattle on the actual the station side of it, but the irrigated area um, we can be feeding anything up to 5,000 cattle off, this, off these seven pivots. Okay, yeah. and how much like for this area that, that this pivot's on, yeah. how many cattle would have been able to feed off this area before you started it as an irrigated patch? Yeah, well that's interesting, yeah, uh, uh, the Ag Department figures which is you know basically the, the rule of thumb would be that in this land type, on, on this type of land, un, undeveloped, we would run one cow. One? One. Okay. If you could find her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, what do you see as the future for the north? There's been a lot of lot of talk about it, particularly with how dry it's been down south. Yeah, look, I, honestly, the, the dryness down south, as much as it's a big negative to the south, it's it's we're loving it because it's actually focusing people on the north. Um, we've sort of been the poor cousins in the north, I suppose, that haven't had a lot of interest sort of showing. But we think, you know, we're, we're look, you see what we've sort of done, we've sort of taken some pretty ordinary cow to, well, I think it's half a cow actually, half a cow to 30 odd hectares and um, converted that into something like this and we, we see a massive opportunity. Look, it's, um, the people are here, the keenness is here and uh, the resources are here in abundance. The climate's magnificent, you know, it's the middle of July and mm. it's just bloody beautiful. So I think um, what we see, like, potential to, to do some serious expansion of, the, of this type of activity and, and the luxury of doing it in 2008 when we, we've got the, the virtually the failures and the stuff ups from the south and I think that there's some huge opportunities to be had and some so some great sort of experiences what to do and what not to do in other parts of Australia. One of the things that's often mentioned when we, we hear people suggesting agriculture up in the north is they say you can grow a thousand things here but there's a million things that'll eat it. Uh, how do you go with your pests, your disease, your weeds? Yeah, but I, the biggest thing is one of them million are humans. <laughs> you know? well, so, well, so, but look, it's um, it's it's 2008. You know, it's not 1960, and we're doing cotton in the ord. Um, you know, we're a little bit smarter, a bit wiser. Technology is a little bit better. Um, there, there's definitely look, there's a million things and a million hassles and dramas to, to do something like this. But there's nothing that's not um, fixable or curable, or um, with a bit of foresight, you, you can um, you can alleviate most of your problems. Um, having an open mind is the, the biggest thing. Okay. Terrific. Excellent. Jack and Vicky, thank you. No worries. Excellent. Oh, bloody pleasure.